Jean-Pierre Laplante, and for those millions of you who do not have a clue who I am, let's just say that I'm a guitar builder who's been building custom guitars for almost 17 years now. And I'm here to talk to you about electric archstock guitars, and more specifically, about a book that I recently wrote on building your own custom electric archstock. Building an archtop guitar can be a pretty intimidating project, but it becomes much less so if you have access to some kind of step-by-step, hands-on approach. And this is what this book is all about, guiding you one step at a time throughout the process, from the very early planning stage to the very final setup. And to make your life easier, the text in the book is supported by over 300 high resolution color photographs taken as the three guitars featured in the book are being built. Now, one of the trickiest part in building an archtop guitar is carving and grading the top and back plates. I personally find it quite uh, pleasant and quite relaxing in fact, but I must admit that uh, if it's your first archtop, it can be, let's say, uh, technically challenging. An interesting alternative, as I suggest in the book, is to use pressed laminated plates. Uh, I've got two examples of these plates. Um, this is um, an example of what I mean by a pressed laminated plate. On this one, the outer layer is made out of spruce, and it's a three-ply plate and it's pressed uh, under pressure to reproduce the dome that one typically finds uh, in archtop guitar. It may not be obvious in the picture, but this plate has the nice dome that uh, we would expect on an archtop guitar. Now this, this one is another plate. Uh, this one is a five-ply uh, maple plate and um, flame maple, really nice, really nice flame. I don't know if, if it can be seen easily on the, uh, on the camera. Uh, but anyway, this one is a, is a five ply plate and would normally be used uh, for the back uh, of the guitar. Now, these plates are available commercially and uh, from various suppliers. Uh, the ones that I've just shown you um, uh, I get from uh, um, Dan Yeager at the NCME Archstop. Uh, and I must admit that their quality is second to none, but there are other suppliers as well. Using such plates will save you a lot of time, and what, contrary to what um, some people would believe, uh, do not yield in any way to inferior instruments. As a matter of fact, most Archstop players prefer to use laminated instruments for stage work as they're much more stable to seasonal changes and much less sensitive to feedback than carved instruments. As I mentioned earlier, um, in the book I described the uh, building of three uh, different guitars. In fact, they're all of the same size, 16 inch uh, lower bow, but they're all given their own distinct personality. Now here's one of them, nicknamed Summertime, and um, it's made out of, of um, uh, the body is made out of uh, uh, the laminated top and laminated back. Of course the top is, in this case, is spruce, and the back is what I consider to be a pretty stunning piece of uh, uh, quilted maple laminate, um, which is uh, reproduced as well on the sides and as well as on the back plate of the headstock. The next, this, in this case, is um, three piece or five piece, uh, essentially um, made out of um, flame maple. Uh, on the front, uh, the tail piece, the finger rest, the pickup rings and uh, the faceplate are all made of uh, cocobolo. Uh, the 
detailed instructions to make these, pe these pieces um, are detailed in the book. So if you buy the book and you have the book, uh, you're going to see in all kinds of details how these pieces are made. And the guitar is fitted with two uh, humbuckers, set lover in this case, a pretty traditional, um, pretty traditional pickup. And so this guitar is ideally suited uh, for uh, jazz, blues, and some light rock. Um, one of my good friends, Mr. Dave Barton, um, has accepted to uh, record a clip uh, playing this guitar. So let's see how it sounds. in the hands of a very talented musician. Although archtop guitars have traditionally been associated with jazz, they can be used in a variety of music styles. Here is a short fun clip of Dave playing the black guitar featured on the cover of the book and nicknamed The Dark Side. <laughs> something maybe a bit heavier. This clip was recorded last July at the Montreal Guitar Show and features Mr. Brice Delage, another immensely talented musician, playing Bluebird, the last of the three guitars featured in the book. <laughs> yourself and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.